So this next question comes from Fitz Factor, my good buddy Fitz Factor. He asks, how are my uh, Photoshop files? Are they messy, you know, relatively organized, that sort of thing? So as most of you guys know, and I think Fitz, Fitz knows this too, like most, uh, most of what I do for Kyrie is actually in Illustrator, Adobe Illustrator, guys. That's, that's where I learned these techniques. I could easily do them in Clip Studio Paint but uh, I'm just sticking with Adobe because I need to uh, not evolve the process as I work on this stuff. I got to just do the one thing until it's done. You can understand that. Got to minimize those variables, guys. So, uh, you know, that's just a, a system of uh, masking, you know. Uh, all the content's kind of masked into a panel. Inside of that panel, there's, you know, top layer, line work, then shadows, then uh, flats, for characters and then behind that is uh, line work then colors for backgrounds and then all of that gets ported over that that page with all that content gets ported over to Photoshop where I do some you know warm under lighting kind of texture painting and that's that's usually just like three or four layers so it's, it's hard to mess that up it's never it's never named but it's always the same so uh, I'd, I'd call that fairly organized. You could open any page and it looks it looks like pretty much the same. Depending on the scene, I might do a couple overlay type things to to merge the color range. If it's uh, if I want to, you know, bring everything together into a pink or a purple cyan or that that kind of thing. But that that's really it. It's uh it's relatively uh, keep things straightforward. It's an eccentric process, but it's consistent and I know where the variables lie. So that's, that's really all it's about, guys.